Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're gonna take a close look on the battery checker from ISDT. This is the BC8S model, which stands for eight cells. So inside the box, we got the battery checker and the instructions, which are pretty straightforward. So let's start by going through all the features of this battery checker. First of all, it's pretty compact. Its dimensions are 49 by 25 millimeters and it weighs almost 13 grams. So it's a little bit heavier than the standard battery checker, which weighs almost nine grams. In order to power it on, we'll have to connect it to a LiPo battery. The way it connected, you start from the left side. So the left is the minus. So you connect it here, then it turns on. And the first screen we see is the status of each cell. One, two, three, and four. On the right side, we have the icons that indicate that each feature is used. The top icon is the high voltage alarm, then the low voltage alarm, voltage difference alarm, and UAV location alarm. We're gonna go for each feature in a second. The button on the bottom allows us to change screens. So this one, we can see here the percentage of the battery, then the lowest cell, and it's a forest package with total voltage of 15.1 volts. Then the last screen, we can see here the state of each cell. In order to go to the settings menu, you will have to long press this S button. And then you can choose the battery type, either LHV, LiPo, Live or Lylon. Press again, you can set the low voltage alarm. So it can be from either off and then the icon is going to disappear and between 2.6 volts to 3.9 volts I recommend to put it on to leave it on 3.5 volts then over voltage alarm this is the icon we had on the top so if the battery is going to be charged with more than 4.28 volts for a cell the alarm is going to go off and then we have voltage and balance alarm cell which means if there is a difference between one cell to another cell for 0.3 volts the alarm is going to start so it can be either off and it can go all the way up to 0.4 volts. I recommend to leave it also on 0.3 volts. You don't want to say too low. We have the location searching alarm. Uh, this is the icon we had on the bottom right. Once you land your aircraft and of course you, the battery checker is going to be connected, it noticed that the voltage has been changed and the alarm is going to start. So it could be either on or off. And one minute reminder that every minute the alarm is going to play a sound. And silence operating, which means right now the, it won't beep every time I change the settings. Display rotation setting could be either normal or reversed like that. We're gonna leave it like that. And display contrast tuning can be between one all the way up to eight. And we can also finally change the language uh, that's with back to start. We know to save the settings. We have to long press the save and then all the changes have been saved. Otherwise the changes will be discarded. Now in order to demonstrate the strength of the alarm and show you how it looks like, I'm going to set the low voltage alarm to 3.9 volts, save the settings. And now you can see the alarm is working and one of the best things about it that there is a LED indicator here. Just let me shut it off. So if you're flying it around and the battery is left and you're flying with the battery checker, the LED can help you if it's dark, so it will help you locate the quadcopter. However, the strength of the alarm is a little bit low. So it's rate to be 85 decibels. This one, for example, is much, much stronger. Let me show you. You heard the beeping sound, it was much, much louder than this. So if you're looking for just pure alarm, I think getting this for about two or three bucks will give you better alarm sound than having this two. But there are other features of this battery checker. For example, on this menu, you can, can show the lowest cell which means you can leave it on when you're flying and then you can get indication of the status of the battery 
and it can tell you if there is if uh, there was a, a drop down in one of the cells and it will record it additionally the accuracy is ready to be plus 5 or minus 5 millivolts which is probably a little bit better than this battery checker and the really big question is is that worth 20 bucks over this two or three dollars battery checker and to tell you the truth I'm not really sure ISDT done really really good job with the products I've tested so far and the quality feels pretty good I'm really enjoying this ch charger which I bought recently and I also just pre-ordered the new one they are selling on Banggood I'm looking forward to test it out but again in the end of the day I think if you're just looking for a quick battery test on the go when you want to see which battery has been charged or not go for the simple one and if you want something a bit more advanced maybe you want to put on your aircraft and monitor it and you want to utilize the LED function this one is the right for you so I hope uh, this video answered some of the questions about uh, this battery checker and it helped you to decide if you want to get it or not if you have any question about it feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you so thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and see you on my next videos goodbye